Hey, this is Chris Cannon from Vertigo Venus, and today I'm going to show you how to work the brand new Digitech Whammy DT. Let's get started. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a seven string guitar to showcase how the effects work on a low tuning, and the amplifier I'm going to be using is a Carbon Legacy. I'll be using the both the clean and the dirty channel. So the new Whammy DT is two pedals in one. You have the Whammy side and the, and the drop tune side. Um, we're going to go over the harmony side of the effects here. Uh, if you just simply take a look, it's pretty simple like the previous pedal. The only thing they added, which I have highlighted, is the flat third, um, which sounds pretty, pretty creepy. I'm going to use a clean channel right now to kind of give you the ambiance of this effect. So here is the harmony side of the pedal with a raised flat third. So as you can see, it has that very spooky kind of vibe to it. And if you simply rock the pedal forward, you'll be going to a, looks like just a third. So, and then back. And so on, you get the idea. And then if you simply rotate the knob here, you can pretty much select whatever effects you want. You can ha have an octave. That's a low B string, E string. Simply move the uh, pedal forward to raise it up. And what's cool about this uh, new version of the pedal, they put the shallow and deep on two separate things, as opposed to the previous one, which is just on one chain. So you can get separate effects for each one. Here's the, sh here's the shallow effect with the pedal raised up. Kind of subtle, not really there until you actually activate it. A nice 80s chorus effect. and then simply rock it back to bypass it. Let me show you the deep setting. Again, bypassed when, it's, when the pedal is up. Rock the pedal forward. A faster watery course, almost like a Hendrix vibe. All right, let me show you the whammy effects because they added some new things on this as well. You still have your basic two octave, octave, and same thing in reverse, octave down, two octave down, and dive bomb. What Digitech added this time was you can raise a fifth, raise a fourth, down a second, down a fourth, and down a fifth. These effects are similar to the bass whammy that was introduced back in the 90s. So let me show you what these effects can do. So have the pedal cocked up. I have it set to raised fifth. Hit the pot to activate it. And so on. And let me show you a fourth. It's pretty common sense, you know, just goes down one. And down. This is down a second. Almost adds like a drop tune effect. Down a fourth. That's with the low B. Then it can go down fifth. Again, low B. So those are the new effects on the whammy side of the pedal. And of course, you still have your classic up two octaves. Let me click on distortion for you. 
a lot of players do this nowadays where they want to solo all wickedly high and they still have the two octaves so here's how it sounds <laughs> The opposite is down, down two octaves. On the low B, to be honest, it gets kind of muddy, but it still sounds kind of cool. And that's the whammy side of the pedal. Now we're going to go over the new section of this pedal, the drop tune. This is a new take on drop tune effects. On the previous whammy pedal, you can simply do just one drop tune, which only took your guitar down a whole step. What Digitech did is that they went from a whole step to a full octave down, and it doesn't sound like an octave pedal. Let me show you. So on this side, you have two switches. Don't be confused by these. You have a monetary, which I'll get to later, and the actual drop tune button. Simply use your foot, or in this case my hand, and activate the effect and with this you can either have the pedal up or down it doesn't affect it whatsoever so you can leave it wherever you want but as you can see there's a row of LED lights going up and down simply stating one would be a half step two is a whole step and three and so on and so on so I have this set to a whole step and it's pretty self-explanatory here's the amp with distortion that's E standard. You click on the drop tune. Now I'm at D. Pretty cool, eh? Here's the low B. Here's B. Now A. And you can move all over the pedal. Let me go down. Force that would be number four, which I believe is equivalent to an eight string tuning, which is Kind of new these days. So here it is, B. I believe this is F sharp if I'm correct. F sharp, G, whatever, it's low. And that's all across the guitar, it's not just one string. So every string is down tuned. And then simply turn it off. Let me show you what it sounds like on a full octave down, just so you know the resonance of this low tuning effect. So here it is standard, a full octave down. Here is a low B, dry. Eight steps down. And if you just simply just want an octave pedal sound, just roll this over one more and now you just have an octave pedal. Now, of course, you see the other path, so what's the opposite of down? You gotta go up. So, it's pretty, it's just the opposite. So if you wanna go up, you go up. Here's a half step up from standard. the low tuning now I believe I'm at a drop C and you can keep going up so here's five steps up from your normal tuning here's standard five steps up low B five steps up now let me show you the an octave up. This is when it gets really high. You're talking a full octave up from what you're tuned at. Your standard, eight steps up. Low B. And here's the high string. A lot of players are gonna do this nowadays, I bet.
you get the idea of where I'm going with this. And again, if you just simply move one over, now you have an octave pedal, an octave up. A new feature on this pedal is the momentary switch, which is self-explanatory. You can use the effect in an instant moment. Here we go. So here is E standard. I have the drop tune set a whole step. Lift your foot off, it's over. So. It's pretty cool. So if you just want that instant note just for an end of a song or a riff per se, just click it on, lift your foot off and you're done. Another cool thing about this pedal is that you can use both sides of the pedal at once. Let me show you how this works. Simply set your drop tune function how you want and your whammy function how you want. Let me adjust to where I want it. I have it set to a half step down E flat and the whammy side up an octave. Simply click on the drop tune. Now I'm at E flat. Click on the whammy side. And you can use both. It doesn't have to be just the whammy too. You can also use the effects. So it looks like, where am I at? I'm up a fifth, drop tune. And you can easily go back by turning off the drop tune. So you can do that with any effect you want. So you can e easily go up an octave and set it to two octaves up, which I've done. I don't want to do it. It's very high pitched. I don't like it. <laughs> May not even translate with the film here. So, well, that's it. So we have some other technical things to go over with you, but that's the new Whammy DT. Enjoy. Now I'm going to show you the inputs and what their functions are. This is pretty basic. It's your output. Put this to your amplifier or whatever pedal board chain you have. Here's the AC adapter input. It runs 9 volts, 1300 milliamps. Turn the pedal over. You have your input. Either this to guitar or pedal board, wherever you like. The MIDI input simply allows you to run patches using an external MIDI driver. And the foot switch input, sold separately, can easily allow you to use the drop tune functions simply by clicking on the foot switch and it can go from each effect separately. Now that we went over the effects, I'm going to go over some technical things on this pedal. How to troubleshoot, what input jacks are what, and how they work. Troubleshooting. It sounds difficult, but it's really not. Sometimes when you plug in the foot pedal, the effects may not work correctly or sound off. So a quick thing to do is simply take the AC power cable, unplug it, hold down the whammy button, Plug it back in, if I can see it, there it is. Where are you? Sorry, there we go. Simply plug it back in while still holding the whammy effect. Wait for that to blink, let go. Take your hands, rock the pedal back once, and so on. And then to really calibrate it, press and hold the drop tune button until it flashes green, let go. And again, rock the pedal once all the way back and all the way front. Do that about two or three times until you feel comfortable. Twice should be enough. Put it all the way back down and to finish, simply click on the whammy button and you're done. Last thing I want to show you is the AC adapter and the interchangeable plug-in plate that comes with the pedal. This is your standard American plug-in. This is, I guess, your European plug-in. To simply change the plates, there is a button here that says push. You push, slide out, take the new insert, line it up halfway, slide in, you're done. For more information, go to digitech.com.